Kuti algorithm. This algorithm, as I already mentioned, there are two phases, right? Phase one and there, there are two kinds of uh, protocols. One is one phase algorithm, another is two phase algorithm, right? So the, let's see the algorithm, the various steps first, and I will tell you which are all the steps are covered in one phase algorithm and what and all the additional steps covered in two phase algorithm, right? So the first step in whatever two phase or one phase, the first step, step is each local site has a status table, right? So each local site has a status table that includes whatever resources the site has already, the processes which are happening on that local site. So, you know, every site there are some local processes, isn't so? So those process and also the local sites having its own resources too. Okay, so this status table indicates what resources are locked by the processes and the processes waiting for whichever resources, right? So this is what actually the resource, uh, sorry, status table, right? The status table includes the locked resources and those which are waiting for. Okay. And there will be always a global controller which takes the responsibility to construct the wait for graph and to deduct deadlock. Okay. There will be one among the site. The local site will be nominated as a global controller site whose responsibility is to construct wait for graph and also to deduct the deadlock. So the global controller as a whole responsible site will request status table which is kept maintained by every individual sites. It will send a request message for status table to all the other sites. On receiving this status table request message, right, a request message, every site will respond, isn't so? by responding, sending its own status table to the global controller. On receiving the status table, the controller will construct a W wait for graph, sorry, wait for graph. Once the wait for graph is constructed, the controller will check whether there are any cycle exist, right? If so, the deadlock is detected, right? Otherwise, there is no, if there is no cycle, then there is no deadlock. Then the local get uh, in different color, the third step, okay, which is not happening in the first phase algorithm, one phase algorithm, right? It is happening only at the two phase algorithm, okay. Once the first wait for graph construction and any cycle found, the global controller detect deadlock but not confirmed. So it requests again later sometime, it again requests for status table to confirm deadlock. On receiving the status table, again the controller will construct a one more wait for graph, but this time only for common request, right? If there are any local request, it will not be going to be included in the status array, wait for graph. Local request means, for example, there is a resource one which is folded by local resource itself, site one itself, and requested by the process of the site one of Dina, the local cycle. If cycle exists, then confirm a deadlock. So this is what home around, home Ramamurthy algorithm. The first is two, two step consist one phase algorithm and all the rest of phases, the complete algorithm. One, two, three steps includes two phase algorithm for Hura Murthy, right? As usual, I said, let's have site one and another site two and a control site. Site one has its own status table, okay? So this is the status table for site one. Stable for site one, which includes the resources already locked 
and for which the process is waiting for, right? So let's say the site one have three processes, P1, P2, and P3, and P1 already logged resource R1, right? And waiting for resource R4. P2 already logged R2 and waiting for R3. P3 already logged R3 and waiting for R4. You look at here, R1 is the resource of P1, local resource. R2 is the local resource of P2. R3 is local for P3. Now, coming to the site 2, the site 2 status table ST is here. The site 2 is having two processes, P4 and P5, in which P4 is holding the resource R4, which is locked by itself and waiting for R5, right? And another process P5, which is waiting for locked R5 and then waiting for R1, right? So this is what is the initial state. Now, the as per our algorithm, the control site send a request message for status table to both the sites, both the local sites. Now on receiving this request, both the sites one and two will respond with their status table. Okay. Now what happens? On receiving status table of site one, site one and site two, this is what one phase construction, one phase algorithm. Our graph is constructed. P1, there are ethanol process, five processes. P1, P2, P3, P4, and P5. Now look at P1 is requesting R4, layer R4. That is what P4 order resource. And in the P2, is locking R2, but it requesting R3, which is the resource of P3. So P2 is requesting R3. And R, that is P3 requesting R4. Okay, so, and R4, that is, sorry, P4 requesting R5. Okay, so R5 is here. And then what happens? R5, sorry, P5 requesting R1. R1 is here with the P1, locked by P1. Layer. So this is the status, sorry, wait for graph. This is the wait for graph one, we can say, first graph. Okay. So now look at this graph. There is a cycle. There is a cycle. Right. So now what happens? Control site founds a deadlock, right? So deadlock detected, right? Next, one phase algorithm will not stop with this step. It has one more step having second phase where again one more request will be sent. Leia, two phase algorithm. Again, request for ST, right? So this is request to two request to two for ST and also it is requesting this site also. Okay, so this is request to two for ST. Okay, so this time the sites respond. Leia, so ST two will be sent. Here also ST two will be sent. Right. On receiving the new STs, what we'll do here is Right? So the site, as per the ST, if I get up on no, whatever important turn of Shana, R2 at the Ganga, sorry, P2 at the Ganga, it is holding R2, its own resource, and waiting for the local resource. R3 is in Gedarke, Leia, Gedarke, R3 in Gedarke, local process, local resource. So it is waiting for local. But if you take R1, it is waiting for R4. But R3 at the other waiting for R4, right? So there is a common waiting, common waiting. Leia, so the common request. Ade madri R4 is waiting for R5, R5 in the But R5 waiting for R1. So there is a inter site request is there. Waiting is there, right? So when P1, the process one is waiting for R4, 
which is the which is already holded by p4 adhe maari process 3 waiting for r4 is a common request and the site p5 there is process p5 is waiting for sorry process p4 waiting for r4 which is already holded by p5 and process 5 waiting for r1 right so this is what actually the case okay so because there is again a deadlock there is again a deadlock so deadlock detected there is a cycle so again deadlock detected and confirmed now the deadlock confirmed okay so that is how the second phase works now how you can have one more uh, doubt since here the process p3 p4 is waiting for a local resource r5 because r5 is available locally why should we need to include here in this wait for graph ipo inge nam r2 va pannala p2 va pannala ye abinu or doubt varalam but look at here p2 is waiting for r3 which is folded by inge irukku laya right but r4 problem 